this tutorial, you'll be a zebra print on a popping pink, or whatever color you choose to be. This look was inspired by a design I did when I first began my nail art journey back in 2013. Here are the things you will need. A base coat to protect your beautiful claws. A popping color just to make that zebra print stand out. You'll need white to serve as a basis for any neon colors. A top coat to protect that beautiful new design. And most importantly, some stuff to clean up with. First, you will need to take those cleaning supplies and clean up your old polish or old design. You want to make sure it's good and off before moving on to the next step, which is applying the base coat to protect your claws. Make sure to remember to apply the base coat starting at the bottom of your nail or the base of your nail, going all the way to the top. Now it's time to apply the white polish. Remember when you're applying your polish, you want full coverage. If you got a good first coat with your white polish, you won't need to do a second one. I'm only doing a second coat just to be safe. And now it's time to apply that beautiful popping color. The color I have chosen to use is Crushing by LA Colors. I have been emphasizing full coverage in the past, but this is where it is extremely important. You want to make sure to cover up as much of the white polish as you can. And just to make sure the color really pops, I have applied two coats of this color. Time for the white to do those zebra stripes. Now you need to grab your scissors and your tape. Take a small piece of tape, cut it in half diagonally so that you have two triangles. Place the tape in the direction you want your stripes to go. You will now take the white polish and go over the tape. Make sure to get that striped area good, and since you are using tape, you can go wild with your polish. And now it's time to take the tape off. Always remove the tape while the polish is wet.
as you can see I've already done one more so all you're going to do is take your striper and paint a stripe in the direction you want the stripes to go start from the one side of the white and go as far as you would like to the other side when doing the zebra stripes you can make the stripes thin you can make them thick you can slant them you can make them straight across and you can connect two lines together to form a triangle you can also put lines within a triangle however you decide to do it because you guys all have different patterns on your skin so be creative with how you do your zebra stripes now you will take your striper and outline the stripe area. For my top coat, I will be using Sally Hansen's Insta Dry, which does dry pretty quick. And now you're ready to show off your popping zebra print claws to the world. Alright y'all, thanks for watching.